Hello and welcome back to Urban Chaos. I am Box McCloud. Now, when we last left off, I believe we had split into three squads and we're going to make various changes in my strategy of playing here. We'll see how it all works out for us. It's, uh, you know, nothing too crazy, I suppose, but. Um, we'll just see where things take us. Got all these delicious goodies that we're just not going to be bringing with us, it looks like. So, you know, we'll come back to it eventually if we, uh, you know, feel the need to do so. Uh, I definitely need to get the inventory for this place uh, grouped up. See if I can pick up this stuff um, and get it all deposited in our kind of, you know, central location here. And my internet dropped again. Lovely. Yay. It hates me. I'm that go away. Please stop flashing in the corner. Annoyingly. Let me fix it. Boy, you try and do anything online and look what happens, man. Just yeesh. So anyway. Oh, let's start passing some time here. I believe we have a squad headed here here into town and we immediately get ambushed by blood cats lovely let's let's take care of this menace yeah, it's nice thing about blood cats they can't climb hey, what you need? so you know what that means right and one moment please there, I just wanted to make sure that I was actually recording and stuff. So, yes. <laughs> if we're gonna if we're gonna pick a spot hey, to uh, to be ambushed, it might as well be this. And don't really need silencers. In fact, I may just take those off completely. It's not like I go for the silenced approach that much anyways, but... Yes. Um, it'll make the guns not fire as... Um, you know, inaccurately. I think it affects accuracy. Yeah, it makes it... Yeah, it makes it fire a lot... Uh, a lot less... Well, I, I'm, my brain is fried again. It makes the gun fire a little quicker. Louder, but quicker. And with pistols, it's all about squeezing off as many shots as you possibly can. Now, I want to know where the hell these blood cats are. Guys, I should be seeing yes. them. Hey, what you need? Well, maybe I can move to a different rooftop. Um, hey, what you well, someone's being chewed up by a giant cat. Okay. So, a civilian just got eaten somewhere. Down there back on the roof and go down here hey, what you mean? that's not affecting our loyalty yes I'm on it so I think the giant pussies are down here hey, what you mean? but yes hey, what you mean? Someone see us? Hey, what you mean? It'd be nice if they just came out hey, of the what open. You mean? Hey, what you mean? I don't want to deal with this, man. Yes. I mean, at least, <laughs> at least they—they're not killing me. But come on. Ground 
the floor with him. That's mature. Okay, right. that took a lot of bullets. Yes, pussy. <laughs> These guys, they can only make comments yes. about vaginas, apparently. <laughs> it's my kind of crew. Awesome. Uh, get up on the. Get up here. Damn it. Yeah. Yes. Try this bad boy out. Bingo! Yes. Well, I wonder if that means they're mad. I'll tell you what, man. If nothing else, these things can put out a lot of bullets quickly. The hint of laughter in his voice when he says it. Gotta reload. I want to make yes. some sort of joke about shooting a load into a pussy. I feel like that's a bit over the line. Even if Bingo! So yay, I guess we did it. Um, Something over there. What is that? So those teeth and stuff do sell for a little bit of cash. So, yay. Um, it only cost him a whole magazine. Well, we'll throw it back on for now. I don't think it's that big of a difference, he said, not knowing at all. Yeah, I mean, the other stuff still provides a bonus anyways, so. This should be alright. So, are, have they stopped? Yeah, they've stopped moving now. So, we got a crew going there. J9, which is Prex. These guys were headed this way. Okay. Oh. They've noticed somebody. Let's, uh, let's see who's in this sector. This is why it's nice to explore. Hopefully it's somebody friendly. Luckily, we have Hitman with okay. us. Hitman is good people. He has the okay. the best leadership of the group at 84. Well, he's also probably one of the smartest. Which seems surprising, seeing as he continuously talks about hot dogs. And that's pretty much it. So, We've cleared. where is the somebody that we've noticed, apparently? Oh, they've got a crabber. Hmm. You know, that is one thing I've realized. I'm not going to have the magic ability to open every door now. But we do have... What is that? Who's this guy? Easy now. I presume you to be the mercenaries people have been going on about. Well, you don't be messing with Dr. Cairns. I'd be wearing the same jersey as you. Who's this guy? I'm sure you've probably heard already. I, I can see it in your eyes. Wondering what I'm doing here. Has he really left the employee of the Queen? Well, I have. Ah, uh, don't get me wrong. I, she gave my lab all the toys he could ever be needing. Why, there was nothing I couldn't do. Then you see, I got to question things. Wondering about her motives. So I decided to take my head out of my work and take a proper look around. And you know what I saw? The same thing you see. And so I left, just up and gone. And don't tell me you wouldn't have done different. Oh, and I'm not going back, no. Not until I'm ready. I still got a few things to learn. So who is this guy? What is his deal? And I'll do what I have to to stop her. <laughs> All right. You know, I had so much going for me. Glance. Brought up in publications I was, and dare I say, 
following an Einstein's path. Then I come to this. To this? It'll haunt me, it will. Pretty sure... Mad Lab was the guy in charge of making robots. Because yes, I, you can have a robot. Can I recruit him? You must be joking. Well, can keep talking to you. Not wise to be ignoring my work. Okay, is there something... Nothing. I can do. Can I talk to the robot? No. Whoops. Just ignore that. Nothing. Not wise to be. What if we're direct with him? Say, maybe I'm out of line here, but something just occurred to me. You see, in order to right the wrongs I've committed, I've been working on yeah. this robot and its purpose. Well, it's to kill the queen. I was planning to take her on myself, but I figure now you and the robot have a better chance. I mean, look at you. And friend, I'm not after glory. I just want to stop. And I think you can do that. My robot, she's nearly done. All she'd be needing is a rifle and a video camera. And then she'll be the Queen's worst nightmare. I tell you, you gather me up what I need, and she's yours. A mate for Ellie? Not wise to be... All right, so we need a video camera. And we Nothing. need a rifle. We clear. Now, I believe we have... Nothing. Rifle. We've got lots of rifles. Nothing. But do we have a video camera? I know it's hard to read any of this, but out of all this miscellaneous stuff. See, there's that GDI decoder, and I don't know what that is. But a video. No oh crap. Wrong sector. want either of these things, so we'll just sell the guy's stuff to the random unknown people that buy everything. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good little quest and we'll have to we'll have to make a note of it. It's like a schoolhouse or something. Well, a random tub out in the middle like there's much else here but there's that good to know now onwards to Prax on well, actually let's do it one sector at a time oh so Galileo is now going to be attacked so that's what we're going to do finally stand up 12 of them two of us Oh, and 30 militia. So there's a start. And an exciting start we get off to. We exploded the bank on our first turn. Yeah, I completely forgot we could... Alright, so they called the... Hit the bank alarm, that's okay. I forgot we could call in uh, reinforcements like that. It just means this may take a little while longer, but we have reinforcements. Bring it on. So this seems actually like a kind of nice sector of Galileo. I'll take it. Let them do some of this work for me, though. Why not, you know? I do believe what's going to happen now that I'm thinking about it. That email I got earlier when the guy was concerned. Yes. Pretty sure when we have a dude we can talk to down here. I'm pretty sure what's going to wind up happening hey, what you is um, why did I have him crouch when I just wanted him to run? Alrighty, He's going to get madder and madder eventually because yes. there's no way I'm going to be able to just take the whole island and eventually I'm going to like rawr and sends a really mad email and I think I take a loyalty hit but not much else I can do what is uh oh well, that's not the wisest decision time to take out the trash uh oh 
Mom. Oh, militia will help with this. Pretty sure. <laughs> There'll be bullet sponges for us, hopefully. I want to know who that dude in the building is there. Is he friend or foe? Meanwhile, we'll let the militia do their thing here. Please shoot at those bad men in the building. here, dude. Please? No? Yes. Okay. What if you go... No? I could have him just run up here. Done. Take a shot. No? I still can't? Alright, then just sit tight there. Mm. Root dog. Well, looky here. Root dog spies Coca Cola, so that's exciting. Just end the turn. Oh. oh, excuse me. Hmm. Well, they're probably all collectively crapping their pants. Mm. <laughs> that wasn't a very nice thing to do. You don't shoot your own civilians. You sure as hell don't shoot me. Uh, nice yeah, shoot. Yeah, that could have been bad, but I got me some kick-ass karma. <laughs> You're supposed to say that when the enemies are shooting at you, bud. I want to know what gun that dude had that was firing big explosive rounds. doing you guys are not the brightest you know what let's just throw gas and grenades in this building filled with civilians that won't cause anything bad to happen or you know throw a grenade in there too jeez guys what you need. Alright, they're both that's dying and critical. I, yes. I'm stupid and I didn't actually want him to move. There. And for good measure. Just so the civilians don't get any idea. We certainly don't want that. But as the game just goes into real time mode, and then I'll have 30 people exploring for bad guys versus just one. So, not really a lot to say right now, just watching them do their thing. what you started first Mickey is done what is that just run done. through the tear <laughs> you can't just run through the tear gas you tarred figured he could hold his breath for the two seconds it took well now he can't put a gas mask on and the gas is gonna spread That's fine, you just take all the gear that, you know, that 
that's okay. Well, I'm not going to use it, so if they can use it, I might as well let them have it. <coughs> well, he passed out because he's in the tear gas. Should have put the gas mask on that he's wearing. Well, it has in his inventory, but... Okay. Oh, well. something. Tards. They did it themselves. I'm not the only one that's passed out in the tear gas. because these turns are going to take forever. <laughs> well, he's not hurting. He's just very tired. Because that's what tear gas does. It makes you sleepy. Said warning too. Yay sounds. Hmm. Oh, they all seem to be clumping around me quite nicely. Is there any reason you can't shoot him? I feel like you should be able to. Not gonna happen. Damn it. Well, it's too late now. Oh, what a jerk. That's right. Shoot at him. Do something. He just shot your fellow militia man. Looks like the tear gas is beginning to dissipate, so yay for that. Woo. Hey, what you mean? Yeah, it's starting to come up a little bit, so. As long as that door is open, I can't shoot through it, I don't think. The rest of us can just chill for a little bit then. A couple turns, it'll go real time. And they'll find the bad guys. And we'll take the credit. Let's hey, just end the turn though. Did Fuzz about drop his gun? Because that's not going to be cool. That's not an easily replaceable firearm for the time being. Somewhere. So real time's good. 
Cuspa is still quite passed out. Oh, there's somebody. Good old stun grenade. Bam. Three shots. Nicely done. And apparently that militia. Sorry, cracking my knuckles. It's horrible sounding. You guys get to cringe. But. Yes. Um, Fussbutt has action points now, but he is. He has four energy and is unable to do anything with it. Yes. But at least no one has stolen his gun. <laughs> Good. Another one down. Another one bites the dust, so to speak. Just listen to the music and let the militia do their thing. I don't have anything to say at the moment. There's a bad guy. Let's go see if Fuzzbutt has enough energy to pick up yes. his gun. isn't much he can do. I'm gonna sit there and lay down though. Well that'll do I guess. At least they're shooting and not just standing there and running around like chickens with their heads cut off. They seem to be pretty good at that. Militia de polio. And we spotted another one. Yep. Yes. We'll have him move up to this door. He'll be safe behind it as long as it don't get opened. <laughs> Sucks to be that guy. I think he's just tired, though. Nice shot. Didn't sound like it was a dinky pistol he used, either. We'll pay for all those windows. Don't worry. With our freedom dollars. I'll just twitch back and forth and crouch down. It's very tactical. I learned it in SWAT school. The old twitch and duck. Yes. So can you just open the... Yeah, and you still can't see the guy. So just lay down. Looks like he's distracted by the dude shooting him, which I can't blame him for. I think that's where my attention would be if I was being shot at. And I'm nearly at half an hour here, but I think I'll keep this video going um, until we have the sector. A little bonus video, if you can call it that. It's not what I would call it, but maybe some of you guys enjoy these videos for some reason. <laughs> yeah, throw that, whatever. <laughs> Oh, that works. There seems to be an abundance of, uh, of grenades that these guys yes. have. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. He's not doing anything now. Oh. Besides getting shot, it's a fun hobby. I wonder if they're going to try and shoot him through the windows.
just running wildly through the buildings. So there's three of them in sight. Maybe even four. Looks like two dots down there. Yes. Is that the case? Yep, there's two of them. Time to take out the trash. Think you can do it? Trash! Ugh. Well, you're not gonna do it now, that's for sure. Jesus K. Christ! He's got tracer rounds. So we're having a good brawl on the street. Oh. Like that. Nice. What are these guys all doing with tracer rounds? It's 4.58 in the afternoon. It's not going to help you at all. It's still daylight. Silly militia. Meanwhile, Rude Dog isn't doing anything. Yes. Got just no APs here. Hey, what you need? Might as well have him run up the street. Okay. Through sheer numbers alone, it's kind of 32 on 12, even though it's not that much anymore. But they're slow, but they get it done. That's what matters, right? Yeah, throw another one. Amazed you can survive a direct explosion on your body, though. Hey, what you mean? Doesn't yes. make sense to me. Injuries are good. Let them bleed out. That works for me. Yeah, throw more grenades. That's uh, three now. Say what you yes. want. Props goes to the guy that can take three grenades and not be dead. All attack. That's right, I can issue orders. So everyone do that. Not each other, the enemies. You guys. You're so silly. Well, they're certainly putting a wall of lead in their direction, aren't they? Oh, ow. Jeez, buddy. Yeah, that's right. I want those guys on the attack, too. Get out of your positions and start shooting. Yeah, that could have been bad, but I got me some kick-ass karma. 
total damage dealt from militia to militia is going to be so much more than militia to enemies. Oh, yeah. All right. No. Yes. That is not a reason to celebrate. You are a horrible militia man, and you should be reprimanded for for doing that. Really not good. Well, next turn we'll get you. What was that? You idiots. You were all such morons. You know that? I'm scared now. <laughs> God, finally couldn't take it anymore. After the fifth grenade, he just turned into a pile of ash. Meanwhile, someone fired an explosive round into the crowd. Dealt significant damage. I wonder what kind of gun that was, though. This is kind of ridiculous. Just a little bit. Yes. And now I can't even fire. Oh. Hello, person over there. Yeah. I would really like to know what kind of rounds he's using. Nice. There we go. Everyone just chill for a minute. Please, just a little bit. Yes. I need to catch Fogo needs to catch his breath, so I'm not gonna have him move for a couple turns. <gasps> Should have him patch himself up, though. It's only a little bit of damage, but it's still enough. Yes. Yeah, loud traffic overhead. I don't know if you can hear it, but... Healing for me, not for the militia. They're horrible. These guys are terror bad. Oh yeah, the headset is low on batteries. I forgot about that. It keeps reminding me with helpful loud beeps in my ear. Okay, so... A couple things have happened since the last jump cut, even though it's going to appear very brief in the video. Um, game wound up crashing and not recording things. And I took a break of a day or two, so I don't know where we are relative to the last save. Um, so if it appears a little out of place, I apologize. I'm kind of not sure what the hell happened. But anyway, I do remember we were taking this sector of Galileo. There were a ton of militia. They were shooting each other, and it was pretty funny. And we're just going to run with that. I did modify a couple more settings in the INI file to make the game um, a bit more difficult. I'm, hopefully there's going to be a few more elites now. Uh, I increased the line of sight for everybody so we can get some longer range firefights in here. And I think I made it so that all enemies are always wearing armor amongst a couple other changes. But I don't See what happens. I'm not worried that the game is too easy, but you know. Can't just blaze through the whole game and not have any problems with it, you know. Nice shooting, guys. 
creatures around her head. Let's see, they're getting stuff done. Old dog is just chilling up there. Maybe I should bring him down. Although I definitely, uh, yes, do think I will not be playing with you along with me. Evil if it takes this long. Okay. But who knows? Oh. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> I want to. Oh. oh yeah, that does remind me. I did make a setting that uh, a setting change that will allow Alicia to occasionally drop gear. So it's not gonna be like them dropping all of their stuff. Which I do believe came from when I was installing the game. There are some other files you can install outside of uh, 113 and Urban Chaos. And one of those was a little patch, and I think I enabled having civilians drop all of their items. And I believe a non militia forces hey, what you need that are hostile and everything those are all considered civilians so that's why I, those guys dropped all of their gear in that one sector a while back um, which you know if nothing else is a good explanation as to why that happened answering my own questions eventually oh don't run away oh well at least he turned around that's a good idea So far, so good, I'd say. And this is going to wind up being an extra long video. My old one, I think, stopped at about, I don't know, 32 something minutes in. And I wasn't just going to end it abruptly like that. I figured you guys were owed an explanation, so you'll get another extra long video, which, you know, watch hey, it if you, you want mean? to. If you don't, you know, do your thing. I'm not going to obligate you to do anything. Yes. I really don't want to move Fuzzbug. I'm just going to let the militia soak up this damage here. Boy, if, he, if they had a grenade right now, this is just... Nice shoot. Should be a good sector to explore, though, once we get it cleared out. It seems like there's still potential for a lot of goodies here. Goodies. And he threw a stun grenade. I'm realizing that, you know, Jagged Alliance is one of the most tactical turn based strategy games. There. Yes! I don't really tend to use much in the way of fancy tactics. You don't see me throwing gas or grenades or, you know, anything fun like that. <laughs> do what seems to work. If it doesn't work, we modify it until it does work. Hopefully that doesn't bother people. And if you do, you can just yell at me in the comments. I mean, I've grown up with this series my whole life, but as you guys have probably seen, you know, I'm still ignorant about probably 80% of the stuff in this game. I just know what it is. So, well then again, this is the 113 lot, which like quadrupled the amount of stuff there is to well, that works to take into effect so yes uh, you know I don't know why I'm talking about this I think I'm just making small talk while we're watching the militia work I'm on it but you know what, what is that I'm seriously uh. considering I'm actually seriously considering after um, this Urban Chaos playthrough is done, whenever the hell it is, I may just... Um, oh, God damn it, I am. Gotta turn that off again. I keep forgetting that, you know, that makes...
there's noises and stuff. Half expecting my headset to start beeping at me in a few minutes. Um, hey, that's my gun. You took my gun. Anyway, uh, I'm half considering doing a vanilla 113 playthrough, seeing as the current version of 113 is a ways ahead of this one. Yes. The latest build was that they released, I believe, was last month. They are always something over there. Jesus K. Christ! Just shooting. Always coming out with new features and new plans and new ideas. Tagged ya. Yeah. Some of us just have it. And he gained a little what is experience that? for that. Lovely. I figured I'd give 113 with the new inventory and new attachment system a try, seeing as I've never tried the new attachment system. It may make a little more sense in the long run. The new inventory system is just, uh, it's, for people like me, I'm really kind of an inventory fiend. Um, I won't say I'm OCD, but I really like having things organized and I enjoy messing with gear and stuff, but I could just spend hours and hours and hours doing it and I really don't think you guys want to watch inventory management simulator yes you know so we'll see how it goes oh. it's I off screen enough as is there would be a lot more if I did do that but hell if you want to see that campaign let me know it's it's um, it's a lot different than this one it's the same strategic map but all the sectors will be different um, towns will be laid out a little differently but it should be less glitchy because it's not you know, a big conversion from what the base game was so there's that and I think they were implementing support for um, squads of 10 people which is pretty sweet yes and we finally get some real time uh, I'm going to oh. mute my IM program really quick uh, which I'll just off screen come back in so see you in a second Okay, there we go. And somebody just passed out on the floor. There. Um, no, we'll just we'll let them die. I don't care. You know, if the other militia are just not gonna do anything about it, why is that my problem? Anyway. Hey, what you know? Oh. So are you dying, bro? These things happen. Oh. Get out of the way, militia. I've got work to do. Well, looky here. Yeah, looky here. <coughs> Man, bleed harder, guys. And why was he muted? Maybe that was one of the settings I changed. Ah. Oh well, we shot him in the back of the head. I'm right. With a 50 caliber. Awesome. Now they're all gonna run everywhere. Great. You know, maybe I should have liberated this sector before I trained militia, because now I'm gonna have to deal with them running around when I'm exploring. It might be a big deal, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. to find some more of the same sector because the same hey, sector, same sites to see if I can clear up a little more area because then I could have mercs dropped off in, oh. in different zones and that would be good that would be very good I think there's only like Yeah, there's just one dude left. We'll let him run around and maybe they'll discover him. Ugh. You know, it's gonna be tricky. 
exploring all of the stuff oh. when uh, we don't really have anybody that can kick doors open so much. <coughs> Man, these guys are just running everywhere. Good. Almost feel bad, but at the same time we'll just recruit another one. It's not like I killed okay. him. Okay. Uh. Oh, we'll head this way. While oh, the game is trying to focus or something, I'll work. Uh. Alrighty then. Stop bleeding. Uh. Oh, at least they're doing a pretty good job patrolling and stuff. Hey. Certainly covering uh. the whole area than, uh, than us two. A lot of civilians here. Spa? It's fancy. I like that. Oh. Time to up his stats. Goodbye. Yeah! This is an Sweet. enemy free zone. So there. The town is now ours. I want to read our history log real quick. To care. No, that's old school. Liberated Galileo. Successful tech. At Porto. Enrico complained about lack of progress. It's not Enrico, but close enough. The uh, entries in red here are quests, essentially, that we need to finish up. So, yeah, we used a cheat, but it's because the game was, you know, and that's not even in the game. And these two, I think, are related to this guy up here. I bet we can find him. Unfortunately, there aren't supplies we can get for the locals because it's not in this game. That is the wrong game. So I'm actually going to take out these militia and put them in these sectors in hopes that I won't have to deal with them. Good. Awesome. So we do have some goodies here. I'm going to off screen this sector. And um, I believe there will be a cutscene since we liberated the town. So actually, let me pass a couple minutes here. Yes. I'm on it. And I do want to talk to Mickey down here. Let's see what he has to say. Mickey O'Brien's the name. Pleasure to meet you. What do you have to say? Aye. Could you stitch a wounded friend? Yeah, he's wounded. Let's let's patch him up. Don't doesn't know where he got hurt, poor guy. Ah, oh, how kind of you. Can we talk to you, buddy? You look a wee bit familiar. Did I not run into you in me gun-running days? Aye, a nasty business that was. Just to be scraping together nickels and dimes here and there. Stumbled upon something a wee bit more lucrative. Animals and their parts. The Asians and bloody collectors pay a fortune for the rare gems of the animal kingdom. And not a bloody one of them is armed at that. I was just passing through seeing if I could bag myself a couple of elusive blood cat pelts. Those felines can only be found in a Rolko, you know. Could I interest you in buying a poor, thirsty brother in arms a drink? You ask me? There's not a problem that can't be cured by some fine Irish whiskey. So, yeah. Essentially, this dude sounds like we sell him blood cat chunks that we find by murderizing them. But, I don't really do that. I just sell them. So, I don't have anything to give him. I wonder if I could recruit him. Aye. It's not... Nope. 
so yep he was the the merchant from Jack the Lion's Deadly Games and he was honestly a bit of a dick but you know nice call back there to, to I'm have on it. him in the game However many minutes it takes, it's only like five minutes, I think. Well, let's watch this cutscene. I'm gonna mute my mic. Douglas, what is it this time? Well, it's about those commandos again. I was afraid that you would say that. Um, how can I say? They've taken over Galileo. You get a lot of bucks every month, and the only thing you should take care of is that I can run my business without any disturbance. Get some reinforcements and send them to Galileo. Burn down the whole city if necessary, but kill those damn commandos. Yeah, I'm on my way. Wait, Douglas. I had another idea. Your men can't handle those mercenaries anyway. Brian. Where is he? Brian. Yes? What can I do for you? Take some of your elite troops and solve our problems in Galileo. I can't stand no more bad news. As you wish. So Robot is upset, and we'll probably be sending some elites my way. Which, you know, isn't the worst thing ever. Um, you can take care. But, for the time being, I'm going to explore that sector. And I'm probably going to take all of these items, condense them into maybe this sector here. Just so it's not all laying around everywhere. And, um, if there's any rearming they can do, they'll take care of it. But I imagine, soon enough, we're going to have a squad arriving outside of Prax. And that's probably where we're going to be working next. But we're going to find out next video, guys. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.